Are you looking to improve your or your child's smile? At Casciati Orthodontics, we make it our mission to make braces more affordable and fun. Our business has proudly served the Columbia Basin for over 20 years, and our new conveniently located state-of-the-art facility offers a relaxing environment full of fun activities for the kids. We accept all types of insurance and have convenient payment plans available. Give us a call for a complimentary evaluation, no referral needed, or check us out on the web and make an appointment online. Our spotlight story tonight is about Quincy's new school district superintendent. Here with the story is Jeff Chu. Meet Quincy School District's new superintendent, John Boyd. Boyd, executive director of instructional leadership at Highline School District in Burien, is expected to join Quincy School District in July when superintendent for the past seven years, Burton Dickerson, retires. Residents and other Quincy representatives at one of two public meetings Tuesday afternoon interviewed Boyd and two other finalists. Quincy School Board members then convened and offered Boyd the job, which he accepted pending final negotiations. Boyd shared a revealing anecdote at Tuesday's finalist meeting with the public. Basketball was my first love. I uh, went to the University of Montana on a basketball scholarship and uh, found that college was very difficult because I wasn't very prepared. And so I'm really uh, passionate about making sure that all kids are prepared and ready to go to college because really, truly, it doesn't matter if our students get into college. What really matters is if they stick in college and they are successful all the way through. All the way through. And, and so that's, that's a real important thing to me. Boyd will be responsible for 2,700 students in Quincy. In a written announcement today after the school board's decision, Tricia Lubach, board president, called Boyd, who is fluent in Spanish, a strong leader who works one-on-one -on -one with principals to develop instructional leadership. Boyd was a good fit with Quincy, according to Lubach, because he will speak Spanish in a district where almost 86 percent of the students are Hispanic Latino. The board was impressed with Boyd's skills in improving student achievement, the board's main focus, according to Lubach. The battery of interviews that included district students, residents, staff, and principals continued through Tuesday. We started with about two and a half hours of tours. Each of the finalists had an opportunity to visit one of our elementary schools and a middle school and the high school. So that took place from 8 o'clock until about 11. And then we had the opportunity to bring them back here and they went through a rotation of four interviews. One interview was with the board, one interview group was with the administrators, which is the principals and other administrators of the school district. One was with the district office staff, who worked very closely with the superintendent, and then finally they had an opportunity to talk one-on-one -on -one with our current superintendent, Dr. Dickerson. Boyd received high ratings from the participants who provided feedback to the board, according to Lubach. Boyd has worked in the Seattle and Edmonds school districts since 1992. He has teaching and administrative experience at elementary, middle, and high school levels. Asked if he thought his Spanish-speaking skills would better serve the Quincy district, Boyd okay. quickly responded. Creo que sí. Yo creo que 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 va va a ser muy bien para la comunidad que habla español. Y what I said is I think that it'll give me a, a definite. Uh, way to communicate. I'm Jeff Chu for iFiber One News. We will be right back after this. <laughs> 